Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For the full problem in the Solutions Transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. Uh, so for this problem of the week, we have to evaluate this integral, which seems straightforward, um, but there's no real way to go about it with the standard ways you're taught um, how to do integrals. And so we're going to do a little trick, which is pretty cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to define a function g of x, which is equal to the integral Notice that um, instead of the 7, we have an x here. And therefore, this is equal to this when x is equal to 7. So g of 7 is equal to this function. Oops. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of this. So we have g prime of x, which is the derivative with respect to x. which becomes this. Uh, and when we take that derivative, we find that we get um, t to the x ln of t over ln of t, which just becomes uh, t to the x. Uh, that's pretty simple to do. So uh, let me just erase some of this. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of t to the exponent x. Uh, since x, in this case, is just a number for this integral, we're just going to find that this is equal to t to the x plus 1 over x plus 1 evaluated um, at 1 and 0, which just becomes 1 over x plus 1. Uh, so we have g prime of x, now we need to get back to g of x. And so we have to take, or we have to find the antiderivative. So if we integrate g prime of x with respect to x, um, this is just the integral of 1 over x plus 1. This is a pretty, in, pretty easy integral to do. Um, it's just the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus a constant. And so we have to figure out what that constant is to get back to g of x. If you notice, um, if we have g of 0, and we use this definition of g of x, this is equal to the integral of this. However, t to 0 is 1. So we have 1 minus 1, which is 0. So this becomes 0. Now if we plug in 0 into this definition of um, g of x, we find that this is equal to ln of 1 plus c. But the natural log of 1 is 0. So this is equal to just c. So we found that c, the constant, is equal to 0, which means that we have the function g of x now. So we have g of x is equal to the natural log of x plus 1. As we said before, g of x is equal to this when x is equal to 7. So therefore, g of 7 is equal to natural log of 8, which is just 3 times natural log of 2. And therefore, this integral is equal to 3 natural log of 2. Uh, and it's just an interesting trick to go about this. You can actually differentiate inside um, an integral and 
work backwards and get back to this. So that is all for this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. To see more problems like this, you can click here to see our playlist. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right here. To go to our website, thecenterofmath.org, you can click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there's an I in the top right-hand corner of the screen with all of these same links. Thank you very much for watching.